Jason Perello out of Los Angeles, California, as he was making his pro debut. Walter Wade's on the card here tonight in Worley, Idaho. Perello, he comes back. When I was younger, the number one thing that inspired me to fight was fighting. I loved fighting. And Jesse Reed celebrating on the other side, and he said you'd like what you'd see. Anybody that's a real fighter, you want to find out as a coach what makes them become a fighter. You know, everybody wants to call themselves fighters. You're not a fighter. For me, you're not a fighter until you prove yourself to be a fighter. I don't know a guy's a fighter until I see him in here. I don't know what a guy's got into his guts, into his soul, until I see him in here. <laughs> You can play fighter for a year, you can play fighter for two years, you can play fighter for a few years if you want, but really at the end of the day, if fighting's in your guts, it's, it's going to be a lifetime project. A fighter's got to want to be the best fighter on the planet more than life itself. If it is not that, it is something that you should consider not doing. I'm inspired by confidence to help somebody develop a confidence to where they believe in themselves. There, there, there's, a, there's a drug for me with that. I'm completely inspired by taking people from an insecure mind and giving them a confident mind. You gotta wanna do it, man. You gotta, do anything in life, you gotta wanna do it, right? My history with Rook is my history with Pat Tenori. I remember when he'd come to the gym, he even talked, you know, one day when I have Ruka, you know, when, when Ruka's big enough, I'm gonna have a warehouse, you know, and we're gonna build a gym in my warehouse of the of, of the Ruka Training Center. You know, I mean, he, he, this is true. This this guy's a visionary, dude. This guy really, you know, sets out to do something, and he's persistent enough to make it happen. Over the course of time, we ended up here.